Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm excited to unbox and review the Samsung Odyssey V7 43 inch 4K gaming monitor. Can't wait to see what's inside the box and I'll be taking a close look at all the features, specs and build the quality of this monitor. So you can decide if it's the right choice for your gaming setup. With no more delay, let's jump into the unboxing. Here is the stand and the mount. So here comes the display port. It comes with included display port and port cable, and we have the remote. And that's it. For now. And here is the fast installation guide. So now I'll install the mount. That's how you install the mount. You just slide it. Then and using a screwdriver. So first I want to show you guys what you have for inputs. First we have the USB 3 and we have the BC USB and we have the another USB and an audio jack and play port, HDMI with ARC and another HDMI without ARC and we have the LAN. Then we also have the power connecting and included in here we have the power supply so you don't need to carry any kind of adapter just a cable and also you have the logo here also we have here the mount for the base if you want to put it on the wall and here we have the cable management clip as you can see here you can just put your cable install the stand it's a metallic stand So it has an anti-air friction coating. It has a metal frame all around to here and also it's a bezel list so there is no bezel. The stand is also metal. The back it's a plastic. So now I have the monitor on the stand and as you can see you can fit also a sound bar. I have my sound cluster Katana version 2 and you can fit it easily underneath the stand. So that's a good feature and we have the uh, included remote that is charged uh, via USB Type-C. So you can charge it, it doesn't have any battery so you can just uh, charge it and uh, it doesn't take long to charge. So now I'll show you the menu that we have. If you click the home button here, so this is the home menu that it, that you can access via this button, the home. And as you can see here, you have different apps such as uh, your PC, for example, the input, and you have uh, access to many uh, uh, applications such as Samsung TV Plus, Netflix, uh, Prime Video, Disney Plus, Apple TV, uh, Dozen, and YouTube and uh, Alexa, uh, I have Rai and you can also access the internet so you can browse the internet and there is also a wide range of uh, applications that you can access in the apps section so you can download apps as you can see here you can download many apps uh, and the games even so there are some games uh, and uh, you have a package of many apps that you can install including also the uh, Google Meet, uh, Xbox, uh, GeForce Now, Spotify and many many more. So if you go to the now I'm on the media if you go to game you, you can launch the game hub gaming hub and here you can find your uh, inputs such as uh, I have connected the PlayStation 5 and you can also access the Xbox uh, application GeForce Now. You have a subscription on the GeForce Now. You can just play right away from the monitor. And also connect a, a controller. As you can see here, if you just press on this button, you can connect your controller and as well as audio. So you can go also to the workplace where you find Windows PC, Mac and Samsung Dex. If you have no idea what is Samsung Dex. Uh, it's uh, like the desktop version of your uh, Samsung smartphone 
or tablet so you can connect your phone to the monitor and have like uh, a desktop experience which is really good and you can also uh, connect it wirelessly so that being said uh, let's go to the pc and using the pc and from here i just have my screen saver so that's okay uh, click and hold on the home button for to have the settings menu open and from here go to all settings i show you the settings that are available so now i have for picture mode i have the game mode and the size uh, 16 by 9 and uh, if you have also the eye care that is uh, an eye saver mode so that's it uh, i go to expert i have brightness on 50 contrast on 50 sharpness on 10 and color 27 for saturation and also you can adjust the tint between green and red so i have it on default which is zero and local dimming to high and contrast enhancer to high and the color tone to standard so you can adjust the color uh, tone from cool to standard to warm to natural but i have it on standard and i think it's a good choice and also you can adjust the white balance by two point if you know how to calculate a display you can have those settings to calculate it i basically went with the default choice and also here is the gamma the default gamma for gaming mode so i can adjust it to 2.2 for example just uh, to let you know and also if you you can adjust the, gamma, the levels of the picture and the shadow detail and if you go to color space there is a mode different modes that you can choose from native to and custom uh, vrr control on and uh, these are the picture settings that are available if you go to sound you can also adjust the sound so it also has a speakers and i think the speakers in it are quite decent now i'll show you the sound test for the monitor you can just adjust the volume using the slider the smart monitor speaker i'll put it on the max so you can hear it so that's 100 Decent and it's selected on the game mode. Also, there is intelligent mode, so I have it on and it's adaptive volume, so it will automatically adjust the volume based on your usage pattern and audio input. 
So as you can see here, it has two channels, one on the left and one on the right. So I can quite feel that there is two speakers indeed. So if you go to export settings as well, you can also adjust the balance between the right and the left. And also the digital output audio format uh, from VCM to auto and auto volume. So it will equalize sound automatically so that the volume level remains the same when you ch change between channels and video sources. That's good. Also the sound feedback for the remote, as you hear the OS for the monitor. I have it on high because it's quite nice, I think. So from, from sound, let's go to connection. Here you can adjust the device name, the network, and it also have a Apple AirPlay settings. So you can just rest assured if you have an Apple device, you can easily uh, use AirPlay. And if you go to the game uh, menu, we have the adaptive sync on and response time to standard. Also, you can adjust it. I'll show you the difference between the response time. Uh, also, there's virtual endpoint core lighting for the colors on the uh, monitor as you can see here underneath so you can adjust it from core sync based on your uh, lighting sync provides more immersive gaming by synchronizing the lighting effect to the screen so based on what you are playing on content it will uh, change the color of those uh, two spots so you can also use your uh, preferred color for example if you are trying to make a whole set and also there are some other effects such as rainbow flash, double flash, and breathing. And you can also deactivate the lighting. Also, you can adjust the dynamic black equalizer. There's also HDR tune mapping. I have HDR 10 plus gaming on advanced. There is basic off and advanced. Mm -hmm. Also, there is HGIG uh, standard. So you can also activate that. Mm -hmm. If you go now to general and privacy, you see accessibility, terms, privacy, voice, assistant, you can select between Bixby and Amazon Alexa and also there is broadcasting, uh, parental settings, power and, and energy saving. So you can here adjust the power savings. I have screen saver on, auto power off, available remote battery. Screen start options. You can start with Smart Hub Home or Auto Run Last App or Auto Run Multi Viewing mm -hmm. Mirroring. So you, and you can also reset the uh, reset settings to factory, and you can go here to support to update it if there is an, an update, and also activate auto updating, mm -hmm. device care, and you can see here some guides for connecting uh, different devices such as audio device, video device, uh, smartphone, PC. The system is quite responsive and I really appreciate this. So there is no complaining from the software part. Remote con uh, control guide, open manual. So you can hear allow Samsung call center to remotely access your monitor if there are some troubles with it. And here's the calculation report and about this smart monitor. So these are the settings that are available on the monitor. So that's it. Uh, now I'll show you some taste to the picture quality. So let's go for it. I have turned on the PS5, I'll just connect to it. Here is the gaming menu, the smart gaming menu, so you can access it via click on the play button here, click and hold. And it will appear, the gaming hub. So you can here adjust different types and check that the FPS on 60, HDR on, VRR off, because we are not in the game yet. So my settings for the PS5 are the following, brightness 50, contrast 50, sharpness to 5, and color to 35. And uh, I also have local dim on high, and contrast enhancer to high, and color tone to standard, uh, gamma to ST, and shadow detail to 2, to minus 2 and color space to auto and there are control on uh, on game section i have game mode on response time to faster virtual aim off for lighting surround sound to on dynamic black equalizer to one gaming motion plus settings also you can here check it here i have it on and hdr tone mapping to advanced we have resolution on uh, 4k vrr applied and 
and uh, it support all uh, BS5 standard, auto low latency mode, HDR always on, deep color gamut to automatic and RGB range to recommend it. So I have adjusted the HDR now. I just do some, I'll show you some Horizon gameplay. So on Horizon settings, I have uh, dynamic range on and brightness zero, shadows to minus one and highlights to two. So now I'll do some picture test for the PS5 as well as the sound. So as you can see here, is the sound is coming from the monitor itself. So I have it on 40 and we'll also show the, with the sound. I've seen one of those drones before. But if I find a way to get it down, I can get its data. Maybe I can climb something and jump onto the drone. So it gets very bright. Uh, I have a window here be behind me and the sun is coming here. And as you can see, the monitor is still able to show you every detail and there is really no distraction at all whatsoever. So I think that's really amazing. So now let's get over to the other place that we have.
now i'll do some local dimming taste as well so i have the local dimming on high and contrast enhancer on high so the things that we have seen before as well
so guys that was it for my unboxing and review for the samsung otc neo g7 43 inch gaming monitor i really hope that you found this video to be useful and you enjoyed yourself and if so please subscribe to my channel to help it to grow and to see more upcoming content that i'm going to upload as well as please feel free to write down in the comments below your thoughts about this gaming monitor and any kind of information or feedback that you would like to give me thank you and see you on the next video take care